Angry activists could not believe the verdict on Monday against Ala Abdel Fattah, a prominent Egyptian blogger and another activist. The court says they broke the law by organizing a protest without a permit and attacked security personnel. The court sentences Ala Abdel Fattah and Ahmed Abdel Rahman to five years hard labor and for each defendant to pay the amount of $13,000. The families hoping for justice were disappointed. Pro-democracy campaigners and politicians criticized the decision to punish peaceful protesters. This is an oppression and a continuation to stifle dissent from the youth. They were only holding a peaceful protest. These youths didn't have any criminal or violent record. This is one of the ways to oppress the youth. Many outside Egypt have condemned the law and been calling for the release of activists. Allah's supporters were expecting leniency after Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi's speech on Sunday. In a televised address, Sisi acknowledged that there might be wrongfully arrested people in prison. He said that over the next few days, some in detention will be released. Some analysts believed Allah would be among them for his secular views and playing a part in anti-Morsi demonstrations. But his role during the 2011 uprising as a pro-democracy campaigner is what got him praise abroad, but enmity with security forces at home. He was first arrested in 2011. A new level um, for them, for the military, to have you know, committed a massacre in front of the world's eyes. It's been recorded on camera, you've got all sorts of witnesses, and then they try and you know, turn it around and accuse us of instigating that crime. Allah was given a 15-year jail term after the military banned protests without permission in 2013. He was freed after spending nearly four months in jail and a retrial was ordered. Al Abdel Fattah will appeal against the latest verdict in one more attempt to seek justice. His lawyer says that he continues to believe people have the right to peaceful protest. Osama bin Javed, Al Jazeera.